be careful what you wish for guys because you just might get it. So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck, come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code, woof. It's Windows Pro time. Righto, tell you there champs. Now let's talk about, well, the current MacBook Pro, the new one. Review will be out very soon. I'll talk about the 16 inch just in a sec. And yes, believe it or not, I am actually on the third model now. So I got the five gigahertz one now or the 2.4, whatever you want to call it, not 2.3. I had some issues with the other two. I will cover all this in the review. The reason I got the five gigahertz or the 2.4 gigahertz after I told you not to get it, which I will show in another video, the difference between the, you know, the five and the 4.8 gigahertz is not <laughs> like, seriously, there's no difference really. But the reason I ended up getting the 2.4 gigahertz or the five gigahertz model the 9980 hk is because the xps 15 is coming out 27th of this month so i'm hoping to get one of those oled ones in very soon i'll compare the two models here and that will have the i9 hopefully they have the i9 and that's going to have the hk version so i want to make sure that both the um, laptops have the same processor i don't want you know people saying hey you don't have the top of the line processor in the mac but you have it in the XPS, they're going to have the same processor when I compare them. So it's going to be an awesome next few weeks. I really want to compare those two laptops, the XPS 15 and the MacBook Pro. They're undoubtedly my favorite two laptops and let's see where it falls out. But apparently there's a 16 inch coming and it's coming in September. Now, early in the year, Aminji Ho said there's going to be 16 inch Mac and it's going to have like no bezels. Just think of the 16 inch Mac as you know like the normal mac we have here this 15 inch but with the bezels deleted but it won't be that simple because i think they're going full pro and when i say full pro you know you got to be careful what you wish for and what people complain about and then when you get it you're going to complain that oh it costs too much which is exactly what happened with the mac pro they could be going full pro with this now an analyst has come out from ihs market analyst jeff lynn or something Come out and said there's going to be a new display. It's going to be an LG display resolution of 3072 by 1920, you know. Sort of makes sense. I haven't actually worked out if that's retina or not, but it's not going to be 4K or 5K. And that's the thing. The reason Apple don't go to 4K or 5K is because Apple want everything retina. They want the screen resolution to be doubled the pixels. So whatever resolution it is, they do the 200% scaling and that's retina. OK, so basically, if they wanted to do 200 percent scaling, they would probably need a 5K display or around that sort of thing to get there. And the battery life would be pretty bad. That makes sense. It's not going to be OLED, LG LED display, so an LCD display, basically. I have no problems with that. In some respects, I think OLED is very overrated. I do like LCD displays just as much as I like OLED. They're different. They're same, same, but different. It's going to be a great display. It's made by Apple. Don't worry about that. Also in the report, they said it's going to have a new processor. Now, there's no new processor in this H-series processor. So these mobile parts that are in the current 15-inch MacBook Pro, there's no new version of them coming out. Certainly not this year. So what do they mean by that? New processor. And this is where I think it may be going full pro. There's been some sort of rumour speculation you can take with a pinch of salt. And yes, I said pinch of salt, not a single grain of salt. A pinch of salt. But that would sort of make sense if they're putting a new CPU in it. A lot of people have been complaining. If you want to know how we got to the current 15-inch MacBook Pro, Steve Jobs walked into the Mac design team, slammed the iPad on the desk and said, why can't you do this? And this is why we ended up with these thin Macs. Basically, you open them, they turn on, they instant resume. That's how we ended up here. It was from Steve Jobs doing that. No, that's serious. And a lot of people said, no, we don't want our Macs like this. We want our pro products, our pro Mac products to be pro. We want ports. We want SD card. We want, you know, whatever, Firewire or whatever they had back in the day. We want thick. We want thermal performance. We want big battery. Just give us pro, not consumer sort of like iPad sort of laptop. And this is where people need to be careful what they wish for because... That's exactly what they might do. 
and you might end up with this 16 inch that is thicker, it's heavier, may have the big battery. Desktop processors, if it's going to have a new processor, if it's not going to have these H processors, there's only two options they're going to go, either desktop or they're going to use Xeons. And if they go Xeons, they can shove it up their clacker because I don't want no Xeon. I don't want ECC RAM and I don't want some friggin' AMD Fire Pro thing because they don't perform. Xeons are made for reliability. If you compare the Xeon equivalent to the HK processor that you get, the i9, the i9s have the faster clocks. You know, they may have the same core count. They may virtually be the same chip, but the i9, the performance parts, they go harder. I don't want the Xeon. Maybe the Fire Pro graphics will be good, That or whatever AMD sort of workstation graphics they might put in it, but I don't want that. Seriously. Yeah, it would be good if it had a better thermal envelope, more power, like at least go up to 130 watts or something. But I don't want a desktop version with desktop parts. I don't want one with Xeon, don't want one with ECC, and I don't want one that costs a friggin' fortune either. I don't want these things starting. People are saying, like, starting at three grand, where the current top of the line is not even three grand, I don't think. So people need to be careful what they wish for. I hope they're not going down the full pro workstation route. I'll be very disappointed. And it's not the point of, oh, it costs more. I don't care if it costs more. Just give me these parts that we've got in here now. Give us maybe a better graphics than the Vega 20, maybe a Vega 40 or something like that with 8 gigabytes of RAM. That would be awesome. Bigger battery, yeah. Better cooling. That'll be awesome. Stick with these parts. I'll be happy with a better display, maybe an SD card slot. But if they're just going to go full like pro like they've done with the Mac Pro and they're going to have this unnecessary price to put Xeons and ECC RAM when really, come on, you don't need that. The last time I had a memory error in a computer, I don't even know when I've had a memory error. And I overclock and stuff too. So, yeah, anyway, I want to know what you guys think. Hopefully they're not going down that route. Um, I, I am very excited for it, but um, be careful what you wish for, guys, because you just might get it. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.